Man, look at this fish. Woo! All right. Real nice one right here. Woo, he's pulling drag, man. All right, doubled up. Got a two nice trout on. Hey, what's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Welcome back. We're back out here again today in Georgia, and it is a little bit chilly. Definitely a cold boat ride, kind of a northwest wind today, and as you can see, some overcast. So what we're going to be doing today, I'm out here fishing with my dad, and we are going to be fishing creek systems. Uh, just had a pretty good cold front come through, um, and this morning it was pretty chilly as well. That water temperature dropped all the way down to about 65. So we're going to start fishing some creeks. Uh, we're going to be using live shrimp, mud minnows, and the brand new mulligan right here as well i've done really really well on this lure for the last week or so definitely think it's going to produce some today uh, but guys we're going to be fishing around structure deep bends and those longer troughs and creek systems so very very simple uh, definitely going to be targeting trout hopefully some redfish while the water is a little bit lower as well but it should be a lot of fun so anyway going to be doing that guys and that's going to be the trend like i said fish those deeper bends especially with your live bait we've got slip floats uh, there's my dad there he's going to be fishing in some of these troughs and then those longer stretches i'm going to be using this mulligan right here and definitely think we're going to be able to produce some fish for you but anyway i'll see you once we catch a few there we go all right guys got one right there trout right behind this structure right there on the brand new mulligan there we go nice trout keeper here all right guys there we go that hoss helix hook did its job right there in the side of the mouth pretty trout first one of the morning there we go got something on there might be a red on the slip float and a mud minnow right here guys all right there we go another nice red right here guys it looks like yep. all right nice little red right there on the mud minnow yeah guys so when you look at areas like this you got a nice big bend and you can see their structure everywhere every single uh fish we've caught over here um and even back further in the creek all is near structure so make sure you're in an area like this big tree coming out we've been catching them just on the front side of that so if you can find structure coming out to the water that's where you want to fish because you got a whole lot of area to cover definitely try the areas with the structure perfect just like that it's going to go right over the tree same thing with this one and if you go back over there just fish around that structure change your depth up if you have a slip float like we do today and you should be good there we go got them again right there by the structure that is where the fish are hanging out there we go yep real good one right there all right he hit that hard Again, right behind structure, guys, on the longer straightaways. What we got here? Real nice trout. Yep, real pretty one right there on the 1 8 ounce Hoss Helix hook and the brand new mulligan. There we go. Got him on that one. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go, guys. Another pretty trout right there on the mulligan and a Hoss Helix hook. Oh, I think I picked him up for you. There we go. Another nice trout. All right, guys, just got this guy right here. Cut him off. My dad missed one. I threw it right back out there and got him, but I guarantee you there's some more. So all I'm doing, guys, is throwing it out here, and there's a look right there and catching them, but there's a really nice little trough right where I threw. So what's happening, that's a really nice trout coming in. So these fish are picking off all the bait coming off of this sandbar. And then they're eat, eating them right here in the trough. This is a really nice one. Let's go ahead and get them in. All right, there we go, guys. Look at this beautiful trout right there. Again, right on the new mulligan. It is absolutely killing it today, catching some quality fish. But yeah, these fish, there's a real nice sandbar right here. Then there's a little bit of a deeper trough you can see, and it's going to kind of taper off. And all these trout are in that deeper water, that four to six foot range. Then you got two to three foot right up here. They're just off of that ledge. So when you guys are in creeks, some longer straightaways, fish those troughs, and you're going to end up with guys just like this there we go that's another really nice fish right here guys man he is screaming some drag this is a very very good trout here we go man look at this fish Woo! all right real nice one right here Woo! he's pulling drag man all right doubled up got a two nice trout on get him get him <laughs> all right man 
All right, guys, how is that for a quality trout right there on the new mulligan? Man, perfect hook set right there at the roof of the mouth on that Haas Helix hook. Man, this big girl wanted it. This is every bit of a 19 inch fish, but yep, just hitting them on this trough, guys. Really, really easy. Pulling it right off that sandbar from the shallow water into that deeper trough, and that's where all these big girls are. Pretty right. Yeah, pretty trout right there. Guys, that one was on a slip float and a live shrimp, and uh, I'm using the mulligan. You can use live bait and artificial uh, in these type of areas and just let it come back with the current. With artificial guys, it's always better to bring it back with the current though. So what we did was basically anchor right here on this point, you can see where we can one, throw up here, fish in some deeper troughs, and then also fish all the way back here in this deeper hole. So we have multiple options fishing live and artificial. There we go, sunk. Yep. Again, guys, right in the bend of the creek, just throwing out there, live shrimp, probably about four or five feet down. That's all it takes. There we go, got him, guys, right off the front of the boat right there. Woo, man, that guy's fighting, pulling out some drag here. Slip float and a shrimp. See what we got. Yeah, man, really nice trout. Might need the net on him. I might need you. Oh, okay. Woo, all right, in the net, guys. Beautiful trout. Look at that. Another beauty right there. Probably about 18 and a half inch trout. Big old bucket yellow mouth right there. Pretty, pretty fish. But yeah, guys, all we use right there is uh, the slip float and live shrimp. Threw it right out, let it drift in the current, and he sank it. So really really good when you get on these big bends guys and your lure is not going with the current go ahead and throw live bait or a different presentation out there and a lot of times that's all it's going to take and you'll catch a nice fish just like that sunk there you go all right got a nice one on the slip float right there guys pretty trout Hoop. got him All right, another one on the slip float. Tiny little trout. See how easy that was? Just comes right out. He's ready to go. All right, just got slammed. We just ended up moving back, guys, from this big hole where we're just at. Make sure you can still see him fighting the fish. But we ended up moving from the deep hole over here and went to this narrow straight right here. It's kind of a pinch point, a choke point. So by doing that, we're able to drift some live shrimp and some live mud minnows back. And immediately our first cast just got hooked up. So we're going to try and get him in and catch a few more. Pull his head up. All right, there we go. Man, look at this beautiful fish right here, guys on the live shrimp on a slip float. So right here, you can tell there's a little narrow pinch point right there and it, everything kind of comes together and there's a little bit of a trough right here in the middle. That's right where we're throwing our bait and this guy just picked it up. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up today. But man, what an awesome, awesome day. Uh, we're in a good spot right now, but we have some pretty nasty looking weather rolling in. Not sure if you can see all this behind me. And that wind is picking up quite a bit. So we're actually gonna go ahead and head out. We got a pretty long ride back. But guys, a lot of fun. As you can see, creek fishing is definitely starting to get hotter and get better and better. And as the colder it gets, the better it's gonna get as well. So a really, really good thing to do, guys, is you definitely use some artificial, but then also have some different presentations as well, whether that's popping corks or slip floats like we were using today. I like the slip floats just because um, when the tide rises, you can adjust your knot and all of that as well to make sure you're at the right depth. But that's what worked today. Live shrimp, mud minnows did pretty well um, too, but the slam shady color and the new mulligan has been killing it, guys. I've been using it for about a week now and it is absolutely killing the fish, um, especially big trout. I've caught a lot of really nice big trout, 18, 20 plus inches on that lure already in the last week. So it's really, really working. If you guys don't know what that is, it is just a 2.0 kind of on steroids. It's a little bit bigger at a four inch profile size and it's got the dimples on it. So it casts really, really well, similar to kind of how a golf ball is, but it's been really good. But anyway, guys, um, definitely let me know if you got any questions in the comments. This is creek fishing at its finest. That's all you got to do. Um, but definitely make sure you remember as well, boat positioning is key. So all the times that we were going in, we are strategically placed 
place, whether that was on a point or we were kind of further along. So we were near a trough to where we could fish one live bait and then two also fish with some lures on those longer straightaways. So just remember that. And as you're coming in, think about that ahead of time because your presentation is crucial. But anyway, guys, like I said, I was using the three aught Haas Helix hook and then the mulligan today for artificial and that's been doing really really well so anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any questions or if there's anything that you like to do when you're creek fishing definitely let me know anyway i'll see you on the next one if you're new to salt strong just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish not only with tips and in-depth courses but also our new smart fishing spots app that actually tells you exactly where the fish will be feeding as well as the best times of day to fish there you also save tons of money with tackle discounts and make tons of new fishing friends in the insider community so thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the insider community soon